Now the first step is to go to the game installation folder. So go to Steam and then make a right click on the game and then select browse and then you can go to the game installation folder. Once you go to the game installation folder, if the game is installed in C drive, open this, select this PC, open C drive, program file 686, open the Steam folder, Steam apps folder, common folder, then open throne and liberty folder, and then open easy anti-cheat folder. Over here, you will see this easy anti-cheat EOS setup file. Now you have to make a right click on this file. Now, once you make a right click on this file, you will see an option which says copy as path. So click on copy as path. Now, once you click on copy as path, now open notepad on your computer. Now, once you open notepad, you have to paste the path over here. So for example, if the path is, if the game is installed in C drive, then this is the path. So just copy the path and then paste it over here. Now, once you paste the path over here, after that, you have to type in this. This is provided in the video description. So copy this and then paste it after .exe inverted comma, put one space, give one space and then paste this. And then you can copy this and then type in run in Windows search box and then open run and then paste the path over here. Once you paste the path, now click on OK. You will receive a prompt to click on yes to allow. Click on yes to allow. And once that is done, now you can check. Now the next step is to close any other anti-cheat program if running. So if you have any other anti-cheat program running, you can close it like if you have face it running or if you have riot vanguard running. So close all the all other anti-cheat program and then check. Next step is to run Steam as an administrator. So you can go to Steam and then go to Steam and then click on Steam over here, then click on exit. And once Steam is closed, type in Steam and then make a right click on Steam and then click on run as administrator. And then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can simply restart your computer once. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. To run the game as an administrator, go to Steam and then go to library and then find the game in the list. Make a right click on the game and then select manage and then click on browse local files. Now, once you click on browse local files, it will take you to the game installation folder. Now, once you are in the game installation folder, make a right click on the game exe file and then select properties. Now, once you click on properties, now you will see the screen. Now, go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. So put a check over here and then hit apply. Make sure that you hit apply and then click on OK and then launch the game from the game installation folder. So instead of launching the game from Steam, try to launch the game from the game installation folder and then check. Still not working. Then this time put a check on this box and then select Windows 8 from the drop down option and then hit apply and then click on OK and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. Next step is to this time select Windows 7 over here and then hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. Then this time put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization and then hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now still not working. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working in that case, you can uncheck all these boxes. So uncheck all the boxes. Now, once you uncheck it, make sure that you hit apply and then click on OK and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to verify the game files. To verify the game files, go to Steam on the top, click on library and then find the game in the list. Make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to installed files tab and then Click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file to the antivirus program. Or you can allow the complete game folder and the game exe file to the exception list of that particular antivirus program and then check. Now, if you're using Windows security, then add the game exe file to Windows security and firewall and then check. 
to add the game exe file to windows security open windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 click on update and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access and then click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder open the open your drive and then open open program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder and then open the common folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file in your game folder so you can check all the game folder uh, there might be one or two exe file you have to add the exe file game exe file and then click on open and once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check you can do the same thing in firewall so type in control panel in windows search box and then go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app again click on browse and then go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open once the game is added over here click on add and once the game is added to the firewall now you can click on ok and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website scroll down here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 file you have to download both the file and then run this exe file so download this run it install it and then download this x64 file as well and then again run install both the file and once installed restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using so if you have these voters wheel pedals or any usb adapter connected disconnected if you have any kind of extra controller connected disconnected okay. try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party application or services running you can close it also disable steam overlay so you can go to steam make a right click on the game and then go to properties and turn off enable the steam overlay while in game also close all the overlay application like if you have discord geforce experience nvidia shadow play overplay so just close all the overlay application and then launch the game also if you have any kind of overclocking application running like msi afterburner reward tuner close it perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also if you have unrolled computer remove the unrolled and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so go to the go to steam make a racket on the game and then click on uninstall now after uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the problem so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel